Hi guys, this is Horst. I'm making a quick video here on how to navigate around NinjaTrader. It's, uh, it's intended more or less for the newbies, the people that have really never used NinjaTrader before. Uh, it's a quick guide on how to get up and running without uh, really getting in too deep. Uh, so it's just the basics for the most part. First thing you need to be aware of is how to open a workspace. What you're going to need is your control panel, control center. To open up a workspace, all you do is go to File, Workspace, Open Workspace. If you ever want to save a workspace, save a workspace as, that's all found here also. If you want to make a new workspace, same place, just go under Workspaces here. So the workspaces that are available to be uploaded on uh, my website on the download link, um, double click on that and they will automatically install and they'll be available under open workspace. All you do is open workspace and click the one that's available there. Once the workspace is open, it should look similar to this. It might not be exact with the color and the, you know, the way it's laid out here, but it should have price bars. Um, on a chart with price bars, to maneuver, you can scrunch the price bars together, open the price bars. To move the chart up and down, you put your mouse arrow in the price bar here over here and also hit the control button on your keyboard and you can move it up and down scrunching the price bars together is something I don't recommend but down here where the date is you could just click your left mouse button and drag and you'll scrunch them together drag it the other way and you'll open it up If you're scrunched together, a little F box appears up here in the upper right hand corner. I call it the fix button. It's not the name, but I nicknamed it the fix button. If you click on that, it'll put everything back into proper ratio. If it's ever out of proportion. And what's nice about that is you can do the same thing with the indicators on the bottom here. If anybody's ever out of proportion, just hit the F button and they'll put them in the proper ratio. Let's say you inadvertently delete a chart or you want to make a new chart and one word of caution never click on this red X up here. It'll delete your chart it'll never come back. It's gone. So if you've ever got homework on a chart that you click the X on it's not coming back. What you're going to need to do is make a new chart. To do that, what you're going to do is go over here to the control center again, go to File, New, Chart. You're going to have a list of instruments that have been loaded up from your uh, instrument manager, and you're going to click on whichever one, double click it till it pops down to this box down here. If it's not in this box down here, this won't populate. You won't have any options to do anything up here. So it's important that you double click or click and hit new. Once it's here, you can adjust the time that you'd like. Uh, this is tick charts that we're using. You can have uh, variable options here as to what type of price bars you're going to use. We're using ticks. Here you can put the amount of ticks. You can make a 144 if you like or whatever. Um, down here what you want to do is click on the chart templates. I'm loading up my default here. Click OK. And poof, there you have a brand new chart. Let's say you get a chart just the way you like it. 
you got all the indicators on there that you'd like. Uh, everything is just the way you'd like it. The one thing you'd like to do is right click, hit templates, and save that template as whatever you'd like to name it. That way you can always duplicate this particular chart that you've gotten to perfection. Once you have your new chart, this is the 144 that we just uh, uh, made a new chart of, it will not be linked in color with the other charts. You're going to have to do that manually. So whatever color you got on your other charts, link this one to the same shade. That will link them all together so they're all on the same instrument. If you switch one instrument to the other instrument, it will populate all of the charts rather than just the ones that are linked. So make sure they're all color coded with the same color. That includes your dome. Just a little shortcut if you ever wanted to change the uh, tick value of a chart. Um, right now we're dealing with a 144 here. Let's say we wanted to make it into a, a 700 tick chart. I'm just going to type in 700. Enter a T representing ticks. If you put an M it will be minutes. Um, so 700 T for ticks. Poof. All of a sudden, we've got a 700 tick chart. It's a lot easier doing it that way than coming up here and go in the data series and change it. There. It's uh, less less tech, less clicks. So all you really got to do is whatever chart you'd like to change, click on it to make it the active chart. I could do it to this one by clicking on it. Now this one just changed from a 233 to a 144. Click on the chart to activate it. Type in whatever tick you'd like and presto changeo. You change the tick value of that chart. That should get you guys going for now. Uh, it's just a very, very basic tutorial here and uh, it's enough to get you up and running. Um, Ninja Trader does not have that great of a learning curve, so give yourself a day or two to get familiarized with it and be a pro by the end of the week. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.